This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In this episode, we're going to be hunting for an upgrade item nobody uses, the Black Tourmaline Core. This is the required item to make the Guardian Boots, the best tanking boots in old school RuneScape. RuneScape has always been a game where offensive bonuses are valued higher than defensive bonuses, but there are exceptions. When tanking, for example, the Bandos boss, you take both ranged and melee damage, but you can only protect against one style of combat. The Guardian Boots in this case are actually the best in slot boots to keep you in the fight as long as possible. The drop rate of this item is 1 in 500 from the Grotesque Guardians, which is a Slayer boss, meaning we will need to first off get a Slayer task to begin the grind, so let's get to it. I'm going to do something risky, I'm going to spend all my Slayer points on actually extending Gargoyle tasks, so we're going to do that right now. If I get a Gargoyle task after this, I only need 2 overall tasks to get 500 KC done. That is not a Gargoyle task, but I feel like it's worth it. I bought a Venator Bow because I wanted to try an AFK the Abyssal Demons and it was insanely good there and I got Ankus now after that and on this task as well it's great. I mean this bow is worth like 27 million and it's really nice for Slayer. And there it is, that is the first task, 205 gargoyles, that is a lot of KC, as I can extend it by a roughly 25% with the bracelets of Slaughter as well, so it should be like 250 KC which is excellent. Now the gear I'm going to be using for the Grotesque Guardians and the inventory is right here on the screen right now and this is all worth like 1.5 billion GP. Now the nice thing about my setup including even the claws is that all the weapons that I use are two handed so there's no defenders that are going to mess up the inventory and it's really easy six way switches. But I guess let's jump into a kill and see what the first loot is going to be and how fast I can actually do this. I don't think I will actually make this. You need to kill it before these grow in full energy. Otherwise, the boss will get healed. And I'm... Oh, I made it. Oh my god. That was so close. I think I was actually a bit slow with that as well. I think every time I can probably do it if I'm actually just on tick. All right, let's see. There we go. That is the first one. 138 personal best, of course, as I'm using the most insane gear and some combat... Oh my god. Look at all those combat achievements, that is ridiculous. Now one really cool thing about this boss is that it's an instance and that means that items on the ground never despawn and that means I can just keep killing them, get a bunch of items stacked on the ground and at the end of the trip I can alk everything, pick everything up and I don't have to care about my inventory being full. And also I cannot forget to equip the bracelet of slaughter at the end of each kill because I did forget that on the first one I want to extend the task as long as possible as we might need to do up to 500 KC. I have to admit my kills are very scrappy right now but I'm still kind of getting into it again and uh, it's going to be interesting to see in the future if I can get like the whole of this area just covered with loot. Alright, so we're going to have to pick up everything right now. Only 5kc on the first trip, but the future ones are going to be way better. I kind of know what I'm doing now. Now, this is the reason my rune pouch has nature rune, fire rune, law rune, and dust runes. It allows you to use both the high alchemy spell and the house teleport. So after you're done, basically just teleport the house, use the rejuvenation pool if you do have one, and have a Kareel teleport set up. Use it, and you're right back to the area where you need to be. Oh, first collection log slot, granite ring, not the item we're going for of course, this is a 1 in 250, so half the drop rate of the core, and this trip is way better. We actually got 10kc this one, I think I'm going to be picking up all the loot after this one, and look at all that loot on the ground, looks so good. I don't think I ever showed it, but this is my collection log, we only missed the jar, the pet, and the core, of course, I say only, but those are the most rare things to get, but maybe we can get the core in this video, maybe get spooned on the jar or the pet, that would be lovely. Alright, not the biggest unique to get, but it is kind of rare, the Granite Mall, it's 1 in 125 drop rate, so it is kind of rare, but at the same time not great. Another combat achievement? How many are there? Master combat achievement? Let me look. 
All right, so we're only missing two of them, and it is kill the Grotus Guardian 20 times in one session and a 120 kill. I can probably do that. So let's go ahead and try to get 20 kills in one session. I'll be doing like around 10 every single time. So let's bring out the Blood Amulet of Fury, way more prey potions, and give this a try. And here we go. This should be the last one. 20 KC in one instance. And just barely, I do have to say, because look at my supplies. I have no resource left at all. And look at all this loot. There's even a massive beam of adamant bars worth nearly 300k. But now we're going to be looting all this, getting the Amulet of Torture back for the speedrun of a 120. Oh my god, we're getting some massive D-Claw specs, a nice scythe. Oh my god, 121. How close can I get, man? One second off, that is ridiculous. This might be it. I think we are actually going to do it right here. If I can get just one hit in. There it is, 120. I think that is the completed task. It is not? Wait, what? Oh my god, it killed the Grotesque Guardians in less than 120 minutes. It has to have been like 120.1 or something ridiculous. Ooh, Elite Clue Scroll, we are now like 60 KC in, something like that, and uh, that is actually pretty rare, it's a 1 in 230. Well, the first milestone has been reached. We now hit 100 KC on the Grotus Guardians for some potions. And I have not got the 120 or less than 120 kill just yet. And I feel like I might have to bring Thralls for that because there are so many times I've been really close. But I just need that small extra amount of damage to push myself over the edge. So I think I'm going to actually go for that the next trip and see if we can get the 120. Oh my god, this might be it. I think that was 117. That was so fast. That should be the task completed. Yes, there we go. Grandmaster task completed. Grotes Guardians overall has been completed. If we can find it here, scroll down a bit. There we go. That is now greened on the tasks. That is so nice. Oh, I got a Granite Hammer. This is not a new collectional item, but it's actually worth 122k, so I'll definitely take it. Out of all the Granite items you can get, that is probably the best one. Look how massive this is. Oh my god. Is this good for anything? I can't imagine it being good for anything. Speaking about Granite items, that is a Granite Ring number two of the grind. As I said, all the Granite items are pretty useless, and 19k of value pretty much shows that. So we're coming up on 200 kill count right here, and uh, we have not seen the Tourmaline core just yet, but we have seen some other items of course, and we get some food drops, pretty decent. This is the loot that I've got from 200 kill count, we've actually just hit above 10 million, which is actually pretty good, so I'm going to be making a decent amount of money from this grind. Oh no, I think I'm actually disconnecting with all this loot on the ground. Uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Connection has been lost. Will I lose all of these items and get teleported out of it? Oh, I'm fine. Wait, everything is gone? Y what is happening? What is... I don't even think this is my internet. I think this is like some problem with the server or something. Uh, guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I would love to have all my loot back because that was a lot of items. Connection lost again. Oh, we're back. All right, so <laughs> I guess I'm going to be picking everything up and maybe changing world because this one seems a bit unstable. But here we go, after that, this is the last kill, potentially, of the first Slayer task. And we have not seen the Tourmaline core, so we do have to get another task if I do not get the core right here. And we are now above the halfway point, 253kc, we have 247 left to do, which should be fine with one more Slayer task. And that is it! What, did I just become like an Italian man for no reason? Anyways, that is the last gargoyle task we need, 237. What? Two rune pickaxes in one drop. That is, uh, that is not that good. <laughs> If my Bracelet of Slaughter actually procs on this kill, we do not need to use it anymore. And it does! Perfect! We can actually now drop this Bracelet. I will not need it anymore because we only have a 220 KC left to do at maximum. And that is exactly how many I have left on the task. So I can just camp the Barrow's Gloves or the Ferocious Gloves now, which is very nice. Another unique granite gloves that is, I think, 1 in 250 drop rates, so not super rare, but uh, they are not really worth anything, and I already have them on the collection log, so not that great. Granite hammer number 213k, I'll definitely take that, but worth a bit more at least than the granite gloves. 
Honestly, the past couple of hours have been very uneventful, no really interesting drops at all, and this one is no different. But we just hit 400 KC, and we still do not have the Tourmaline Core. Let's go with the Grotesque Guardians. Missing all of these uniques, the Jar of Stone, the Tourmaline Core, and the Pet. We have got a lot of Granite Dust, though, and we've made a decent amount of money, but we only have 100 KC left, which is exactly what I have on the task, so that fits, of course, perfectly. So let's go ahead and do those last 100, or maybe get lucky and get the Tourmaline Core. After this kill right here, we have done 490 KC. I only have 10 kills left on the task, as you can see. And we have not got the core yet, and that kill was no different. And that is 700 overall KC for the account. And actually, in all those 700, I've not seen a single Tourmaline core, so they're pretty unlucky at this boss. And here we are, the final kill of the video. If I do not get the core here, we have officially lost the challenge. That is the task completed, and the answer to that question is... Yes, we did lose this challenge, and we did not get the Tourmaline Core. Now everything that's left is opening the two Elite Caskets that I got from that grind, and all of this is of course going straight to the giveaway, so let's see what we're going to be getting from this. First one is 163k, and the second one is a Master Clue Scroll. And there we go, that's the Master completed, let's see what we get from this one, and we get 225k. So after adding everything together, the giveaway for this video for another lost challenge is going to be 13.5 million GP. So if you want to participate in this giveaway, how you do that is on the screen right now. And good luck to all of you guys who want to participate. And of course, before we end this episode, we had a massive giveaway in the last episode of 124 million. And the winner of that is going to be Les Krone. The wilderness change have made me a scared boy, Shredder366. Congrats to you. And of course, here's the trade of 124 million GP. Thank you so much for the support and all of you guys watching and entering the giveaways.